181 of 279 for 2,080 yards, 17 touchdowns. He also has eight rushing touchdowns for the Oilers. Hand off Brian Benson, and Benson's going to be caught in the backfield for a loss of about a yard. Solana man on the near side, wide out up top. And around to Arrington, gets a block, turns it up, drives his way across the 40 and out to the 41. So a little misdirection by the Oilers here on the opening drive, showing pressure off the near side end. Puts a wide out to each side. Riggerman comes in motion from the right to the left. Back looking, throws to Riggerman. Great catch. Mike reached out. That was a little bit ahead of him. And the young man out of Arcade, New York. Finley with a cluster of three to the right now that includes Riggerman. And now he'll come across to make it two receivers on each side. Dropping, looking, flushed. Going to run for it. First down yardage and a little bit more, but a flag comes in on the back side of the play. And this might be in the neighborhood of an offensive hole. Three to the left, one to the right. Back to the right as well of Bornhorst. Alec takes the snap, looks, steps up, throws, and complete right at the markers. Stick route by Arrington, and the official agrees it's enough for the first down. Tight formation with a couple of receivers in the slot on the near side. Play action, boot out, and Bornhorst in trouble and brought down for the sack. Stayed at home today, Antonio O'Berry. Wasn't fooled by all the misdirection at all. Three left, one right are the receivers. Pressure comes, little screen across the middle to Arrington. Turns it up, picked up a block, still's got a way to go. Gets it inside the 40 to the 39 after a pickup of a couple of yards. Three receivers strung to the near side. Nobody up top. Now take a man across and... Formation, running back, started it to the right, then cut it back to the left, and he's off to the races. Quarterback's going to keep it and is into the end zone touchdown. Actually, correct that. There's a Wildcat direct snap. Statistically, Dragons have given up more on the ground than they have through the air, so you can understand the play calling. But now Finley in third and long have two receivers each side. Bring one in motion. That's Riggerman. Flush from the pocket is Bornhurst, and he's going to be sacked. Back at the 25. Numbers game at the end of the day, and the Dragons won the numbers game. Finley's going to drop into coverage here. Straight drop by Ray. Throws that middle screen again. Oh, there's a big block in the back. The official didn't call it. Going to be a first down and more. Oiler, the Oiler right at the point of attack, ready to make the tackle and gets blasted from behind, but no flag. And right back to the line of scrimmage of the Dragons. Play action, throw the mid screen out here to the near side and dropped in its tracks. Hand off and blown up in the backfield. Gray Bransford shoots the gap and drops him. Little tackle for loss by the Oilers. Bransford, one of those seniors, making the big play. And Bornhorst tried getting out late. The ball came out square, but he looked like he was down. But the officials say no, it's a turnover. And we've talked about this stat already. They came in at plus 19, make them plus 20 now on the turnovers. Take a look at it. For those on the stream. Oh, I really, really looked like he, his hip had hit down. But officials don't see it that way. And now Finley's defense backed up again, trailing six nothing here with 55 seconds left. And then up the gut, quarterback keep. No, excuse me, that was Greasek again. They did that direct snap again. One wide out to each side. Fake the jet, hand off to Benson. Left side, he squirts out the back and has a nice pickup of about 10 yards as he'll get back what was lost on the sack. This is that power formation with a back on each hip for Bornhorst and Benson behind. Now Benson goes in motion out the back, quarterback draw, and he didn't get there. 
Kind of hesitated a little bit, and then when he went to step, looked like he slipped or lost his footing. Two receivers near side, one up top. Ray back, lets it fly, complete. First down yardage, and then driven back from there. Back, looks, rolls out, throws, complete. We got a flag back here in the secondary. Two to each side, straight drop. Has timed as Ray throws the middle screen complete to Nelson, and he'll take it out across midfield as he dives. Three to the left, one to the right. Ray takes the snap, lets it fly, looks up the field, and intercepted. Ray just threw his first interception of the game and a big play for the Oilers. Jeremiah Jackson with the pick. Bornhorse back, lets it fly complete, and has the first down. Play action, throw it out, picked. And going to be returned for the touchdown. Caleb Street with the pick, and six. Expecting GMAC commissioner Tom Dager. Quick throw. Nice throw, a nice catch by Riggerman. Moves in motion across the formation to make it two receivers to each side. Now flash the back, Clark out of the backfield. Throw him the screen and Street read that the entire way and blew him up. 15 tackles, half of a sack, one and a half tackles for loss. Take another look at it here. And blown up. And Clevenger now to punt it away again for Finley. Now sends Nelson out as a receiver on the right, so five receiver package. Ray back, quarterback draw, and he's gonna be dropped. Got a flag thrown back at the 32. Two receivers left, one to the right. Now bring that receiver in track to the formation, Matthews. Bornhorst stretches it out to the right, and that should be a horse collar tackle. How is that not a horse collar tackle? The official comes in shaking his head no. That's a horrible no call. He had both hands on the back of his jersey. Take a look at the replay for those on the stream. And right there, he pulls him down by it. Bornhorst waits, waits, now floats it out there. Tried forcing it into Riggerman and kind of floated it. Left in the half. Oh, that should be a procedure call, but the official says no. Receiver's off to an early start. Force from the pocket, Ray, and he's going to be sacked. Gray Brantz of Fort gets him back at the 40. Well, they're going to say forward progress was stopped at the 42. Three receivers go to the right. Hand off Nelson on a counter run. Breaks a couple of tackles, but he won't break that tackle. Ray with the give to Nelson. Tries the right side. He breaks the tackle, and that's the first uh, real run that uh, Nelson's broken since that 8-8 eight, eight yarder back at the Stymie Drives. Two receivers up top, one on the near side. Low snap. Ray goes down and gets it. Has plenty of time. Throws over the middle. Complete and a first down. As Finley played coverage and gave him the time. Right back to the line of scrimmage. Trips to the right, single to the near side. Play action, pressure, hit as he releases it, but he gets it into the hands of his intended target. That's Cole Schneider, the tight end. The Dragons keeping this tempo going. Back, Ray throws it near side. Intercept, oh, dropped it. Had it in his hands, but not able to hold on. One to the left, Nelson in the backfield. And Ray back to drop. Pressure, Finley brought it, throws it and incomplete. Bornhorst from the gun with two receivers to the left, one to the right. Pressure coming off the end and gonna be hit and sacked. They brought the secondary, they brought the safety blitz on the outside. You could see it coming, but Alec had already changed his vision, so well executed by the Dragons. Drop in coverage here. Lets it fly, looking long and intercepted. Under, th oh, under falling complete. 
Oilers caught a break there. Couple receivers near side, single up top. Now move Riggerman as a receiver across to the top of the formation. Back looks, has time, throws, and Mike goes and sits down in the soft spot of the zone and gets a first down out to the 35. Whips it out and almost intercepted. They show pressure coming up the middle. Do the Dragons, they bring everybody. Finley picks it up, the throw, and good play in the secondary. Couple receivers near side, plus a slotted tight end. Straight drop by Ray. Got rid of it, caught. Tell you, that was a pretty good throw by Ray. He got it just over top of Bransafort. So a fresh set of downs for the Dragons at their own 45. Handoff, looks, gets the corner turn, found some running room, broke a tackle inside the Oiler 40. Two receivers each side, and right back to Dorn, and he finds a seam up the middle and just tripped up. Bring out it tight end in motion from the left to the right. Fake the handoff, Clark's going to keep it, and he'll be dropped around the six yard line. Two receivers to the right, back to the right now. He'll go out to the flash, direct snap, and that's the third time they've ran that. They put Greasick in the backfield, and it's a wildcat formation, and the Oilers have not been able to figure that one out. For fifth on the all-time list, rushing in Oiler history, Bornhorst to let it fly, complete, Arrington, and he's got a first down. Two receivers to the right, one to the near side. Back, Bornhorst, hit as he releases it, and just out of the reach of Arrington. Let's it fly, intercepted. Tried slicing it to Micaiah Matthews, but they, were, they set back in the zone and had it kind of surrounded on three sides. And just dumped, dumped in front, makes the interception. Second pick of the game thrown by Bornhorst. Chucky Lewis comes up with that one. More after this play, third and three. Back, ducks under, now flushed, being chased, and throws it away. Riggerman across the formation. Bornhorst flushed from the pocket, tries to break away, and it'll be brought down right about the line of scrimmage. Three receivers strung to the near side, single receiver up top for Keegan Ray. Quarterback draw, and he'll take a pop from Gray Bransafort. Bring Nielsen in motion behind it. Fake the handoff, throw over the top. Riggerman, a tremendous catch. Elevated high above it and pulled it in over his head with one hand. And takes it out to the 35, a first down. And a little bit of life, and that should more than Bornhorst, flush from the pocket, looks, throws, and again, Riggerman with another tremendous catch, and he paid the price at the Dragon 40, got upended and turned over, took a couple pops there, but gets the first down. As I was getting ready to say earlier with the earlier catch, that Mike now the all-time are the receivers. Bornhorst steps into the throw, complete to Micaiah Matthews. He breaks the tackle, stays on his feet, drives inside the 15 down to the 11-yard line. Bornhorst flush from the pocket, in trouble, stands up and throws a seed. Bornhorst under center and a little bit of the brotherly love push. And eventually the delay signal comes on the touchdown. Oilers get on the board 26 to 6. Or at least going to show it here. There it is. 
It hit somebody. It certainly touched one of the Dragons, but did Finley come up with it? Finley came up with it. It didn't go to 10, but it bounced off the leg of one of the Dragons. Two up top, one on the near side. Reverse around, looking. Now he's going to tuck it and run. And forced out of bounds. Two to the right, one to the left. Quick throw, complete. And Matthews tries to break away. Two to each side are receivers. Pressure off the end. Finley picks it up this time. Bornhorse lets it fly. Complete to Alberts inside the 10. Tries throwing it, knocked away. Had pressure coming off the end and sensed it in. Bornhorst jumping and tried throwing it up over the top for Arrington and a little high and wide. Want to do the quarterback draw, but it's going to be overwhelmed. They brought more helmets, and there never was any room for... Alec and jump ball in the corner. Did he hold on? Well, fell incomplete apparently. Was looking for Riggerman in the back right corner. And so Finley will turn it over on downs at the Tiffin nine yard line. And they're gonna look to shake hands. And that's gonna be it. Your final score, the Tiffin Dragons 26. The Finley Oilers seven. And we'll be back with the post-game wrap-up after this on the Great Midwest Digital Network, Pulse TV and 88.3 WLFC.